Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone. Well, it was a pleasure to spend the day with you. It was a pleasure to meet the brothers from Birmingham and the brothers from Luton. MashaAllah. Um, one, one thing I forgot to mention before, something very important. Please everyone listen. My parents would always re um, repeat the phrase, the, the verse from the Quran to me. La yukallif Allahu nafsan illa wusaha. They always repeat this phrase, the verse to me, which means that Allah will not burden a soul with more than that which it could bear. Allah will not impose a responsibility upon someone more than that which they can bear. For example, like Allah will not question you why did you not free Syria if you're just a 14-year-old kid that you know still at, still at school. Allah will ask you according to your means, according to your talent, according to your skills. Why didn't you, you know, fill the bar? Why didn't you reach the standard that Allah has given you, the talents He has given you? And one of the one of the stories I wanted to mention to you was we all know that the insulting movie that was made against Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and like many of us. We did not know how to respond. Um, unfortunately, in Sydney, we had we had a downfall in responding to the film. No one knew how to respond, and I I fell into the same mistake. When this film came out, as many of us did, we got angry, we got upset. Many of us tried to respond according to our means, and what I did was I went at home, I jumped on Facebook, and I wrote, I wrote one of those gangster statuses, you know, oh my god, stop making films about us, blah, 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 enemies of Islam, blah, 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 blah. And then what had happened was, a friend of mine who was a revert, he actually advised me. A brother, he's only been Muslim for about two years. He came up to me and he goes, Kamal, you can do better than this. He goes, this is a joke. In defense of Rasulullah you just wrote some stupid status. You know, it really didn't do anything. And I'm not saying, some of us, that's our limit. Because you should have done better than that. And SubhanAllah, I deleted the status and I felt really, really upset. I go, SubhanAllah, I should have done something more. I should have done something more. But I didn't know what to do. And I went to sleep that night. And SubhanAllah, I had a dream. I had a dream. I was in Sheikh Shadi's center in Australia. It was at the UMA, United Muslim Association. And one of the sheikhs, he was advising me. He kept telling me, Allah, which means give victory to Allah. And I asked the sheikh, what do you mean? What do you mean? And subhanAllah, I didn't understand what the sheikh was trying to say to me. Even when I woke up, I was still tripping out. What was that sheikh trying to say to me? And it wasn't until after I prayed Fajr, I said, Salaamu Alaikum Rahmatullah. And I said, I know exactly what I have to do. So I called up work, I go, I'm sick today, uh, which I don't advise anyone to lie. <laughs> but I said, you know what, I'm going to have to write a poem and post it on and respond to this film, inshallah. So, you know, 5 a.m. Fajr time, at 9 a.m. I finished the poem. SubhanAllah, when you put your mind to something, according to your capacity, within four hours I finished the whole poem. And it's not from me, wallahi, it's not from me. I can't write if my life depended on it. Well, you just put your mind to it, you make du'a for Allah to help you. Within four hours I had finished the poem, and then, I, and then by the next morning I had put it on YouTube. So within 24 hours I put it on YouTube. And subhanAllah, same thing happened again, the video just went like crazy. And only from Allah, wallahi, it's only from Allah. And within a week it got over a million views. So subhanAllah, this is, this is the information I'll tell you. Number one, be committed, be willing to sacrifice, be willing to contribute within your means, according to your skill set, and do so with knowledge and wisdom. So inshallah, I love to present this because wallah, I love this poem so much because it's one of the, it's in honor of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I have to mention this before, before I begin. A great Arab scholar, he made a poem about Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he said, by Allah, the poem I have written about Rasulullah did not honor Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Rather than mention, rather than mentioning of Muhammad وسلم, in this poem, honored the poem. You know, we're not honoring Muhammad وسلم, in any way, rather he is honoring us by allowing us to mention his name. So I say that and inshallah we'll begin. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تايرد الصادق الامين the honest and upright he came at a time when people were burying their daughters alive he was the savior and liberator of all of women's rights he was the best husband to his wife the best friend to his tribe and the best leader to lead a nation of might he was the most equal to his people no matter if they're black or they're white he's the freer of the slaves so go ahead and talk as you like Bilal ibn Rabah, the first black man to enter Islam and to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was ready to give up his life. Why? Because he was a man of truth and a man of justice, a man of humility, yet a man of toughness, a man of mercy. Just look at the city of Ta'if. Pelted and stoned as he preached alone, heart broken and cold and bruised bones and blood soaked shoes. Yet he just moved on and prayed to his Lord, O oh Lord, as long as you're pleased with me, it doesn't matter at all until Angel Gabriel descended and declared, Give me one word and I flip these homes. He said, No, just hold on. Despite everything they did to me, I'ma just let it go for the land may one day breed some sweet believing souls. So you still want to know why we love him more than we love our own. An orphan since birth, yet he was still strict in obedience to the mother. Heaven is under her feet, so be good and be sure to love her. And no, you're not a Muslim unless you love for yourself what you love for each other. Do not waste water, even if you're at a running stream. And even if you're at war, do not hurt the plants and the trees. A lover of the environment, so much so, a tree shed tears once he no longer needed it to lean. A lady was never forgiven because a kitten she failed to feed. Animals would rush to him whenever they would see, because they could see he's a man of morality and virtue taught humans how to be human and to have patience on those who hurt you. For of course a soul of mercy is better than a soul that's revengeful. Have mercy in the lands and he in the heavens will never desert you. Rank number one in Michael Hart's most influential. Feed the hungry, visit the sick, and make sure you free the captives. These are the wise words that I've captured from the one who accepted every being, no matter how bad his past is. Because pride is for the jahils, those who are ignorant and backwards. So go ahead and do what you do best, and let the haters keep hating while they're busy drawing and painting, burning and making, Films that are desecrating the concept of art. How dare you disgrace it. You better just pray that we as patient as the one you portrayed in an image that's not true but a figment of your own imagination. For there's freedom of speech, but there's not freedom of hatred. To a man who cried every night for the sake of humanity. Ummati, ummati, fearing the day with a face reality. Where we're all brought forward to our Lord with no idea what is happening. A day where no friend can help you, nor a sibling to his family. A day where they appear drunk and overtaken by insanity. This is crazy, it's a catastrophe. The sun is close to my face, I can feel its gravity. All the people rush to Adam, Noah, Moses and Ibrahim and then finally go to Jesus. But Jesus says, get away, I'm afraid that God is mad at me. They took me as a Lord, I have no idea what is going to happen to me. Go to Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon he. For the second he intercedes and prostrates to his Lord, his Lord commands him to speak. He doesn't raise his head up until he screams, please leave everybody who believed, even if it was an atom or a mustard seed. And yes, his prayers are answered, for they are guaranteed. So don't ask me again why I love him more than I love me, Muhammad.
sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bizakallah, fair everyone.